Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how can we run a Cypress automation solution on Azure DevOps. So this is a simple project that I've already exported to GitHub. And from the Azure DevOps pipeline, I'm going to fetch this pro project from the GitHub repository, and then I'm going to run my test. Now, there are two spec files that I have created in this. In this spec file, there are two test cases, both of which are getting failed. In this, there are six test cases and all would get passed. Now, we are also going to generate the report, but instead of HTML, we have to generate the JUnit because that's the limitation. That's currently the limitation of Azure DevOps that it does not allow you to publish the HTML reports. All right. So just like in case of MochaSum, for every spec file, we generate a separate JSON and at the end, we merge all those JSON files. So same way, we are going to generate the JUnit XML reports and at the end, we are going to merge those. Okay. So this JUnit uh, reporter comes bundled with Cypress. So you don't need to install anything separately. All right. All you have to do is in your Cypress.json, you just have to say reporter JUnit reporter option. You have to keep this hash in here because for every file, right, like I mentioned, a separate XML would be generated. So guys, this is the node module that you have to add in the project to merge all those individual JUnit XML reports. Okay. Now the great part about this uh, package is it comes along with a CLI. So once you install this, right, you just have to add this command, right? Prior to this 1.0 version, you had to do uh, quite a lot. Actually, you have to create a file and then you have to, with the help of this file, you, you had to merge things. But now with the help of the CLI, it becomes so easy. Now, the next thing is, this is the GitHub repository where I have already exported this whole project which I just explained to you. And the next is Azure DevOps, guys. This is how Azure DevOps looks like. And I have already created these three release pipeline. And as the name suggests, one for Firefox, one for Electron, and one for Chrome. So when I execute this pipeline, okay, I want to execute all my test cases on the Firefox browser and in here on Electron and in here on Chrome. And once everything uh, is executed once the pipeline is executed right in here you see okay 75% of the test cases are passed two are failed because you know in one file there are six in another file there are two so two out of eight are failed so you see this you click on the logs and then you get to the test and then you see something like this you already have the report in here that this is the JUnit report guys total there are eight test cases six are passed and two are failed okay so how do we do this so first of all we go to our organization so guys this is my organization you first create the organization organization is a place where you keep all your different projects okay so you can create multiple organizations so you could see that with the help of organization you can group the related projects together it's that simple right so we are going to create a fresh new project and we are going to say uh, QA um, box uh, Cypress Azure DevOps demo. Let's give it this name and uh, I'll keep this this private. I click on the create button. Let's wait for this project to be created. And by the way, this is a free service. So you can create your, uh, you know, as your account and then you'll get access to this as your DevOps as well. Okay, now in here you have got different components, but in this video, we are solely going to focus on the pipeline. So then there are two types of pipeline. One is for building your application. The other one is for releasing your application. So in the build, as the name suggests, you know, we run the unit and integration test. And once those are passed, you know, we publish the build, right? In the release pipeline, we run an end-to-end test. So since Cypress is used to generate the end-to-end -end test cases, so we got to work on the release pipeline, okay? The only thing is, since I've not created any application this time, right, so I'm not publishing it, all right, so I'm skipping the build part and I'm gonna start from the release. So you just click on the release, all right? So then you say, okay, cre create me a new pipeline. You click on this new button 
and then there are two ways either you can uh, create you know have your yaml file created and you import that or you use this classic editor so we use the classic edit so first thing is we have to add the artifact okay so you click on that artifact is where your test code is so my test code is in here all right currently you see i don't see anything so guys you have to click on this manage and then you have to uh, create a service connection right so you click on this this thing and uh, since i'm fetching from github so i just say github i click on next all right grant authorization so i say okay azure pipelines authorize it another authorization is happening between azure devops and github so it's done and now i click on the save all right so this account is now created i go back and now i uh, in here i should see that okay so this is the account and then the repository like i said we have to work on this j unit so i select this and let's wait for this page to be refreshed and in here we'll see master uh, and then we just have to say latest from the default branch okay so now we are we are all set in here we just say okay add it so the artifact is added now next thing is we have to add the different stages in the pipeline so we will start with an empty job and what stage is this so we say end to end tests okay so let's give it this name now you have to close this you have to click on this one job zero task so you have to add the task in here okay so for a uh, task you require the agents okay and you can also have the agent less job but agent is more like a machine right on which you're going to execute things so uh we'll give this agent the name let's give it like the electron thing okay so now in here you can select the different type of machines so guys uh, windows is really slow uh when to run the test uh window takes approximately uh five minutes but uh ubuntu is really fast so for the video purpose i am just going ahead with ubuntu but it depends upon on which machine you have to run your test cases so accordingly you are going to pick that now you just have to select this and click on the plus button now cypress is a javascript library okay and you require the node.js environment to execute your code okay so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to say okay add the node.js okay so you click on add now which version i guess cypress recommend 12 and all but the latest one is latest and latest and stable one is 14 something so therefore we are saying 14 dot cross okay so you can change the name like install node.js but that's fine so we move on to the next step so once node.js is installed right now what 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 is the next step so think about it right now you have the project already in the artifacts you have the node.js environment so how are you gonna uh, you know perform the next step so you're gonna say hey on whatever dependencies are there on this project just execute those isn't it so you say npm and you add this and you say uh, install npm dependencies okay like so and you have to select the working directories just click on this and select this main file right just make sure that in this folder you have to have this package.json this is what they are saying okay folder uh, that contains package.json all right so we have this thing also done now again click on this add the new one and the next step is you have to run your test cases okay so we again say npm we click on this right npm install so in this time we say run test and this time the command has to be the custom one okay now what is my command so we look at our project we go to package.json and since we are running electron so we have to run this command okay and uh, for electron they are these three lines same way for chrome you also have three lines and then for firefox also you have three lines guys the thing is in here what are we doing so we are running the test and we are merging those reports okay now uh, since our test may fail so we have this third line we say okay hey uh, run my test okay and if this fails then execute this okay this is how this all works but if this passes right so automatically the post script would get executed and in that case also this would run so this is what we are ensuring same same like you know we did in the mocha someone and same way you have for 
Chrome and Firefox. Okay, since you're already saying it's a NPM task, so you don't have to mention NPM in here. You just say run script uh, electron, and then again you provide in this working structure. All right. Okay, you have to uh, publish your test results. So you just say publish test results. So where the report would be generated. So this is what we are saying. Okay, so the reports would be generated under results folder and then this would be the name of the report that's what we are saying okay and the name of the report that we have to pick eventually is combined report.xml okay so you got to mention that in here okay like so so this is the main folder inside this results folder eventually will merge all those report and give it the name combined report now just like we are ensuring in here that you know if this test case, this execution fails, still you have to run the post step so that you generate the report, right? So same thing we have to do in here as well. So in here we are saying that run this task, and the by default you will always have this option only when all previous tasks have succeeded. But in our case, since a test may pass and fail, okay, so we have to say, even if a previous task has failed, perform this way. So Due to this, we are able to generate the report whether our test cases are getting passed or failed. Okay, so this is what we have done. We have created an agent. Okay, and in the agent, we have selected our machine. Then on the agent, these are the tasks that we are going to run. We are installing Node.js. We have then installing all the dependencies of our project. There are two dependencies, right? Cypress and the JUnit report merger. Then we are running our test cases and uh, this will generate the reports. So JUnit report. So in here we are just publishing it, and by default you could see the format of the report is JUnit, and these are the different other formats that are available. Okay, so you do not see the HTML one in here. All right, so you save it like so, and then your release is ready, and you just have to click on create release, and then click on create. So release one has been created. Okay, and Let's click on this log. Basically, uh, you know, Microsoft now you know, requests you to uh, you know, raise up Azure DevOps. Okay. It was so quick, right? So we downloaded the stuff from GitHub. We installed Node.js. We installed all the dependencies. Now our test case are getting executed in here. And you see the command is npm run. So we did not add the npm. Like I said, we just mentioned run. And then the script that is there in the package.json, which we want to execute. All right, so our test cases are executed. Let us see the log ones. So we scroll down and you see, yeah, this is the same thing. And then at the end, we also generated the reports. Okay, now once this is done, okay, all these things are done. You just have to click on the test. And now in here, you see the result. Okay, you see eight test cases, six passed and two failed. All right, so likewise, uh, what you can do is you can create multiple pipelines if you have all those scripts, right? So what you can do is you just click on this and you create a clone of this. Okay, now you have this and uh, this time we give it the name, let's say Chrome release pipeline. And the only ch change you have to make is in your test scripts, right? So instead of Electron, you say Chrome, right? We save it, right? And we click the create release let's click on the create so now this thing is also started let's click on the logs So if there is any problem at any point of time, you just click on this and you can go through the, the logs, okay? And 
and I hope uh, someday Microsoft also allow us to publish the uh, HTML report from Azure DevOps. Until then, you can use this JUnit report and you can also merge the different uh, JUnit uh, XML result reports. All right, so this has also worked and succeeded. And again, you click on the test. So you, you see it like this. All right, so we go to the logs and let us see where did my test run? Was it on Chrome or somewhere else? So yeah, it was on, it was on Chrome. All right, guys, so this is about how you can run your uh, Cypress automation solution on Azure DevOps. If you like it, give this video the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.